Hey guys, welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at play movement in our space shooter game. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now you can see on the left, I've got all my sprites and backgrounds ready. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can download these. And we're not going to be using all of these today, however it's good to put them in your project so in the future tutorials, we already have all our sprites ready. Now the S player, make sure you center the origin, the S asteroid, center that as well, the bullet, center that, the explode, center that, and the hearts, don't center this, this is just normal. The background is just a plain galaxy, yeah, and that's all we need. So let's start with creating the player object, which is our main, um, uh, our main character that interacts with the, with the user. So right click on objects and click create object. And we'll call this O player and assign the S player sprite to this. And add an event, the create event. Now if you haven't seen my Game Maker Basics series, the create event is run when the object is created and is run only once. So in the, in the section control, Drag in the first code block, and in here, we're going to assign two variables. These two variables are speed equals 8, and the HP equals 3. Now we're going to put in a comment, and this comment has three slashes in it. Now what three slashes does, is it actually names the code block. To add another event, which is a step event. And this runs constantly. Drag in the code block. And we're going to start by making variables for each of our controls. So, let's run the input. So, for the up key, which is U key, it's equal to keyboard check. And I'm going to use the W key for this. If you would like to use the up key, simply type in VK underscore up. However, I prefer to use the W key, and I'm sure many of you do as well. So I'm going to copy this four times. So we have the down key, the left key, and the right key. So the down key is S, the left key is A, and the R key is D. Traditional WASD controls. For our shoot key, this will be implemented next episode. However, we'll define the variable now, so it'll be much easier for us. And we're going to actually use the mouse for this. So mouse, check, button, and we'll say MB left. This checks if our, my, uh, our mouse is pressing left. Now let's actually start to do the checks. So if U key, alright, then we are going to minus the Y value by speed. If D uh, K key, then we're going to plus the Y value by speed. This is basically saying since the Y value, um, if it's the very top part of the room is zero, and the very bottom is the room height, and it has 480. So if you minus it, you'll go up. If you plus the y value, you go down. That's why we do this. Same for the x coordinates. So if it's L key, we plus it. We plus the x coordinate because it goes right. And if it's the R key, we minus the x coordinate by speed. Now, don't worry about the shoot key at the moment, that's going to be implemented later, as I told you already. Now, let's play the game. Wait, let's create our room first. We'll call this RM game width 640 and height 480, leave the speed at 30. The objects, dragging the O player. And in the background, 
In background zero, choose your BG galaxy with a horizontal speed of negative two to give it the illusion that the player is moving. Now we're gonna play the game and see how this runs. Here you can see it kind of works. Oh, oops, I think I messed something up. My bad. L key is minus, R key is plus. Sorry about that. So now if we run the game. Yeah, alright, cool, that works now. Sorry about that. Alright, cool. Now, um, there is one problem, however. Let me just show you the problem. And that's that the player can move around. However, there is no limitations to where he can go. He can get out of the screen. He can come out the other side. It's not very nice for a professional game. So there's a few ways to counter that. Let's write a comment here. Prevent player from going out of screen. And in here, we're going to say if y is smaller than zero and the reason why i do this is because in the room here in the y coordinate zero is up here and the room height is down here so if i do y is smaller or equal than zero it means that the player is up there so if it is then we're gonna move the y coordinate to the bottom now what this does, it gives the illusion that if I if my player goes up here, it kind of reappears down here and continues going. It's like an infinite, um, it looks really nice, I'll show you it. So else if y is bigger or equal than room height, so if it's at the bottom of the room, then I'm going to move my y coordinate back up. Cool, so this is the y value. Now let's do this for the x value, just a little bit different. So for the x value, we want it to be stuck here and possibly be unable to go any further than here. So generally in platformer games or, sorry, not platformer games, like top down games, if you want to prevent an object from going out of the screen, we use a function called clamp, and what clamp does is that it limits a variable with a minimum and a maximum variable. Uh, uh, variable. So we can do x equals clamp, and it turns orange, so GameMaker recognizes the function. And in here, the first argument is the value that we want to clamp, or the variable, in this case x. The next argument is the minimum, so we want it to be 0. And the max is around 200. Let's run the game here. Now, there's one problem with this, and I'll show you it. All right, cool. So you can see our game runs well. And if we go to the top, look at that. It's kind of like infinite. We go down here, we come up the top. For the left, we can't go past here, and we can't go past here. However, if I go to the left to right, we can see half of our body is actually sticking out. Now the problem with that is that our origin is in the center. So it's saying that that origin has to be at zero. So to fix that, we do sp uh, plus sprite, oops, sprite underscore width divided by two. So we're just adding on half of our body. So we'll play that. And now you can see it's much better. Now the final thing we're going to do in this tutorial is checking for the health. For diff, actually. So we define a HP variable here. Now we don't have any enemies or asteroids yet. However, when we do, we have a check that checks if um, he's dead. So if HP is smaller or equal to zero, which means that it's dead, we're just going to simply destroy that instance. Just like so. Alright, cool. So that's going to be the first tutorial 
of the series, and it's going to be about, um, as you just saw, play movement. And the next episode, we're going to be looking at how to shoot bullets. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.